And joining us now in the studio to tell us more about what is going on in the body when you're overweight or obese is an expert from the German Institute of Human Nutrition, Susanna Klaus. We thank you very much for being with us on Tomorrow Today. Okay, so being overweight doesn't necessarily mean that you're in danger of contracting diabetes, but there are plenty of other risks involved. Tell us a little bit more about the other risks. Well, there's, of course, the risk of cardiovascular disease, uh, like hypertension and maybe heart problems, which can develop. Mm -hmm. And also uh, the risk is higher to attract some, uh, uh, to get some kind of cancers mm -hmm. when you are obese or overweight. Uh, so there are many, many diseases actually associated with mm -hmm. obesity. Okay, now at your institute, you're looking at diseases caused by poor dietary habits, um, and you're also looking at possible therapies. Which ones um, are looking the most promising? Well, right now we have a lot of uh, studies, also intervention studies going on, which look at protein uh, part of nutrition, and this seems kind of promising to increase protein in order to increase satiety, and, but it should be the right kind of protein. We also have some studies uh, concerning fiber, and fiber has some uh, good influence also on satiety and mm -hmm. thus preventing obesity. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not just about being overweight anymore. We're seeing obesity climbing at an alarming rate. What are some of the factors contributing to this in the industrialized world, at least? Well, the problem is there are many, many factors and the, our whole environment drives us towards obesity because we move less every day because we work at the computer, we drive our car and also we have food available all day long and we have high quality food but which has, is also high energy food mm -hmm. and, and then there are also other influences such as our microbiota and our intestine which might uh, play a role and contribute or special uh, components of the diet such as fructose which is now thought to uh, lead to uh, increased liver fat mm -hmm. for example. I'm definitely of the opinion portion size of our food plays a role as well, how much food we're actually consuming. Yes, of course, portion size, uh, it's, uh, yeah, if you get served a bigger por portion, more normally people tend to eat this mm -hmm. portion. Yeah. Finish it off, mm. so, yeah, clean your plate. What about genes? Um, people are pre, uh, pre, uh, predisposed for obesity, aren't they? Yes, there's a genetic predisposition, but this is also complicated because it's not only one gene, mm -hmm. it's a multitude of genes. And so the estimate is that maybe 30, 40 genes contribute to our body weight. And so, but each gene only a tiny amount. So it's getting then very difficult to figure out how much each gene contributes and what combination of genes you need. Okay, well, I guess the most important thing is pay attention to your diet and exercise. Yes, of course, <laughs> exercise is always good. <laughs> okay, Susanna Klaus, we thank you. It's been a very interesting discussion here on Tomorrow Today. You're welcome.